Grease your rage. I can uh, cast grease at will. That was the goblin. That was the goblin. That's nasty. <laughs> Uh, oh, that was so gross. <laughs> that was a fun game. That was. Kim is. What you got going on there? Every once in a while, we gotta do another weedy <laughs> problem. Currently, nothing. You're a bad man. Uh, a weedy goblin's mega dungeon. It's actually a human town. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's some dude's basement. <laughs> it's a sewer system underneath on first level, <clears throat> and then the town on the upper level. <clears throat> don't don't tempt me. I'll do it. <laughs> Top level. That'd be great. Awesome. <laughs> and see how long us goblins last. You know, just if we get to a night, it's like a save point. <laughs> Final <laughs> boss, tavern owner with a fright. <laughs> yes. Five goblins enter a town. <laughs> we'll survive. Anyway, how um, long will we retire? retire so we can go to the, the room. My room. room. The golden room? The, the nice room. The gold room. Yeah, the one I sleep in alone. So, uh, but I'm going to hand you the key to the silver room. It's right next to the gold room. It's got two beds. It's nice. Uh, the uh, metallic named rooms are all about equal uh, comfort, although the gold room is slightly nicer. Doesn't matter. We're not going to be sleeping. <laughs> you don't do know we, that, though. Do we know the... Anything would be better than the uh, If we go up to the room, can we look to see what other the metallic <laughs> rooms there are? Are you going upstairs? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you go upstairs. Uh, you pass down the hallway. It goes, it's sort of L-shaped. It goes metallic and then precious gems. I bet the bastards and diamond. You something. pass five rooms that are all the, the white, the black, the blue, the green, and the red. Mm-hmm. And as you turn the corner, you see bronze, silver, and gold. Oh, wait, that's as far right. as it goes? We're going to our room. Our door's going to be slightly cracked. You're going to stay there and you're going to watch. Okay. Yeah, you immediately know no, what I'm I, thinking. Yeah, yeah you already I know. know what I was thinking. Okay. All right. I'll wait to see where food is brought. Where food is brought. He's probably a cheapskate and just gets a cheap in the red room or something. You don't, what do you do? because he... he we don't stay in the room. room. Spend yeah, money. I'm in the room. <laughs> He's are, on watch. You right. two are downstairs? I've already gone upstairs. And I've already gone to the gold room. room. I'm like, see you tomorrow. And then I went to the next place. Okay. And if you see anything, you might yell. Beard. I know. You tell me. Quietly. So some time passes by. Are you peeking out the door as well? Nope. Going you to don't sleep. give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty early to go to sleep, but okay. Uh, some time passes, and you eventually see a servant or a serving woman come to the bronze room. Uh, she leaves a tray uh, out, knocks, and then leaves. Uh, you can see there's enough room for two, and there are two pies. Uh, the door opens, and you see uh, Baltier. Uh, reach down, he pulls the tray into the room and closes the door. I go quietly over her. He's in the room next to us. Okay, what time is it? Uh, I'd say between dinner and your watch. Okay, now we wait. It's about mid, late evening. Mm -hmm. It's getting dark out. The last of the sunset is beginning to fade. The mob mugs, you want to push a bed over to that side and just start. <laughs> <laughs> you can still hear noises downstairs as the, you know, people are coming to drink. Pe- uh, there's still some travelers in there who are eating. It's a little rowdy. You can hear the performance of some Blue mediocre Rack. bard in, or minstrel in the uh, downstairs area, the common room. How uh, far up is, like, it, you said it's second story, right? Mm-hmm. Like, how how high second story? I'm not sure what you're asking. Answer the question. I'm not sure what you're asking. Like, is there a window? I'm coming in the window in the room. Yes. Yes. It's oh, wow. out Could I it. get somebody through the window? <laughs> uh. Would that at all be possible? The window is able to be opened. From the inside. Could a flying shark fit through it? It could not. A flying shark with a gnome on its head. <laughs> <laughs> a permanent crash into the wall. <laughs> that is not into the window. <laughs> For a gnome to fly on a shark into the window, the inn would be graced with the imprint of a gnomish face for the rest of time against the upper boards. I thought this happens. <laughs> <laughs> you do recall that Sheriff Hemlock was offered some words of caution about using your flying shark in town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Harry, <laughs> do you want to wait until morning when he goes back out? We're going to wait till he goes to sleep. 
Okay. But we're not gonna hurt his friend, are we? No. And how are you? <laughs> so you're just. I'm not sure how we're doing this. This is called winging it right now. So what are you waiting for? Him to fall asleep. And you'll be able to tell that how? There a light in his room? Would the light go out? Would you be able to see it under the doorway? You can't really tell from where you are. <clears throat> Alright, we gotta figure this one out. Your rooms are next to each other, and you are in them. In the door, you have it cracked open. So you, you could see the serving woman. You could see Baltier's hands come out. But and then you heard the door close. Else, yeah. No. What you would probably have to do is sneak out into the hallway to the door. Which leaves you in a very comfortable position. Which is why she would do it. Which is the, which is uh, how you spent most of the game, is in a compromising position. Yeah, she's used to it. That's why she would do it. <laughs> she knows what to do. I'm not sure that's something you should get used to. She's used to being all, down on all fours, found in precarious <laughs> positions, in, lo in weird locations throughout she the town. She's 15. You shut your mouth. <laughs> She's drinking all day. Yeah, well. You're in the winter. She said, you said 16 last session, and like 17 before that. No, she's 15 and a half. It's about, it's it's about 4,800 <laughs> in. It fluctuates. Golarian it's, years. It's like 15 and a half, because there's, it's story down. It's weird. When this isn't turns, medieval, this is fantasy. It's weird. No, I'm not, when she turns 16, she's supposed to take over as a new seer, because the old seer dies. Most people do die. Yeah. Advanced rules. <clears throat> Usually faster than others. <laughs> well, so far the people who have run into use do, do seem to have uh, experienced a shortened lifespan, especially if they're small and green. Especially if the GM has for guys green. Boards aren't people. Yeah, that's what I said. The gnome is... Some people would take offense to that. <clears throat> no, the seer lives to be 100 when she dies. I will... I look her. forward to receiving angry letters from the pigmen. What I'm saying is if you're... But not orcs, like, those are people. Got a mentality of like an 8-year-old. Sounds wise. Age-wise. <laughs> that's the <laughs> nail on the head. Gnomes live to be like... Hundreds of years old. So if she's literally 16 age-wise, she's probably more like an 8-year-old. I mean, we could have a discussion about the relativity of aging and maturity, <laughs> but given Logmog's character, it doesn't matter how old she is. She is an I, ADHD I thought no ADHD patch knowing yeah. most of what they need by, you know, natural instinct. I'm basically, <laughs> I, I, she's like a toddler anyway, so it's pretty... Well, that makes it even worse and gross. <laughs> she's not quite toddler level. She can talk <laughs> and command yeah. a monkey. <clears throat> so command a monkey and a man sweet. We're thinking more like... Right before middle school, but not quite there yet. Anyway. Mm. Right. So as you're Sounds sticking like it out, and you're sleeping, and you've wandered the fuck off. Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> you gave him another room on the other side of town. He won it. He didn't wander off. That's the room you gave him. <laughs> He's got a free one here. He's got a free one else. Wow, you're really living the life, aren't you? Yeah. Got to live it while I have it. <laughs> Oh, bacon clutches our friends and he died. <laughs> he goes into a rage and she's like, oh, oh. Every time, do I have to take a percentile every time I enter rage? <laughs> Only if you keep up your current lifestyle. <laughs> I go out, have bar, eat bacon. You only die when you leave the rage, though. <laughs> Just, oh. uh, strain on your heart. I imagine most ragers would be a shorter life. <laughs> what do you have to roll so to that happens with them? With them watching. Well, as you're watching, you don't really notice anything. You didn't hear anything in the room before. You didn't hear anything since. You assume they're eating. You don't really hear much sound. Um, but you do hear somewhat of a commotion downstairs. 